Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. The Special Malaysia Disaster Assistance and Rescue Team SMART and other Malaysian medical teams have stopped their humani humanitarian aid missions in West Sumatra, especially in Padang and Pariaman. The teams will return by Tuesday. Defence Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Ahmad Zahid Hamidi says the missions have been stopped as Indonesian and West Sumatra authorities are capable of helping the victims get on with their lives. He says what the victims need is financial aid rather than physical help. West Sumatra was struck by a devastating earthquake on September 30th. MCA former Vice President Datuk Sri Dr. Fong Chan On says the party should call for a fresh election in the shortest period of time in view of the outcome of the party's extraordinary general meeting, EGM, on Saturday. Our only wish is now to see a new set of leadership that can really have the support of all sides. That can really have the support of all sides. That can really unite the party. That is, then, then, then bring back the Chinese support to Barisan National. He urges party president Datuk Sri Ong Ti Kiat to honour his word to quit and take necessary action for a smooth transition to a new leadership. The MCA's Central Committee is set to meet on Thursday to salvage the party's bruised image following the recent EGM that rejected party president Datuk Sri Ong Ti Kiat and reinstated Datuk Sri Dr. Chua Soi Lek as ordinary member. Meanwhile, MCA Vice President Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai says time is running out and members must unite to strengthen the party again. He says the Central Committee will discuss all the decisions of the EGM and will make the best decision in the interests of the party and the Chinese community. Liao, who is Health Minister, told reporters this after opening the International Nursing Conference in Sri Kembangan Monday. Married couples in Tranganu on the brink of breakup can have a free second honeymoon courtesy of the state government. However, the honeymoon package comes with some counselling. The aim is to bring peace between feuding couples and check the reportedly soaring divorce rates in the state. Tranganu Welfare Community Development and Women Affairs Committee Chairman Ashari Idris Monday says the honeymoon packages will be launched by the end of the year. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.